In this lesson, you'll learn how to manage employee attendance. The attendance feature keeps track and helps you manage the clock on and clock off times for each employee. Employees can only view the attendance screen if they've been given access in your security settings. To access the employee attendance screen, go to the tools menu and select attendance. Here we can see a list of employees with an attendance record for the last seven days. You can expand on each employee to view their attendance record. For each shift, we can see the clock on time, the clock off time, the hours worked, and the status. We can see that Anna is still clocked on, but she is currently marked as away. An example of why an employee could be marked as away is if they're performing admin work. When they're marked as returned, it will create a small absence shift, just like the one we can see here next to James. And here we can see that Chris had a six hour absence. A long absence shift can be used to record the time when an employee was absent from the business, for example, if they were doing external training. We can see that Katie is still clocked on, and we can see that Lucy worked for three hours, but she's now clocked off. If an employee forgets to clock on for a shift, we can add a new shift by selecting the employee and pressing the new button. Press yes to continue. Then we'll select a date for the shift. You could check this box if you wanted to create an absence shift. This would be used in the external training example we saw earlier, but I'm just going to create a normal shift. So I'll enter the start and finish times, and then press done. And we can see that the shift has been added to Katie's attendance record. At the top of the screen, we can see the date range for the attendance records being displayed. To change this, you can click on Range and select a custom date range. You can use the Today button to only view attendance for the current day, or the Week button to view attendance for the current week. To edit an attendance record, you can double click on the clock on or clock off time and then enter the correct time. You can also add a note to explain why the time has been adjusted, and then press Done. To change the number of hours, click on the cell, and then enter the correct number. This will adjust the clock off time accordingly. You can use the Delete button to remove a shift, and you can use the Print button to directly print the employee hours from the attendance screen. Now that you know how to manage employee attendance, you can keep accurate records of the hours worked by each employee.